so much pressure to walk out of that office of this neurologist and be like, I, I have a child with autism. What do I do? I'm just like, okay, Stadler's autistic. Here's his team of therapists. I just gained three new best friends. Stadler is four years old. He's nonverbal and autistic. Stadler likes calm and collective situations. One of his most favorite things ever is sticks. Just from outside, he likes to pile the sticks. It's not unusual to have a child be more interested in a cardboard box than the actual toy. And so we see that a lot with Stadler. He was about 18 months old and he was babbling and everything. And then he just, he did that, the regression. We started with early intervention and they actually mentioned that there's some signs of autism. And so that prompted us to go and make an appointment with the neurologist and the neurologist was able to diagnose him and it was around his second birthday. We cried and it was just not like we're just devastated because of the autism, but it's just the unknown. We don't know his future. It's so much pressure to walk out of that office of this neurologist and be like, I, I have a child with autism. What do I do? Is he ever going to be potty trained? Is he ever going to live by himself? Will he go to college? That I, I can't think that far ahead. Good job. You just don't know anything until you start living it. And I want to normalize parents having a child diagnosed with autism and not knowing everything. A lot of that pressure and anxiety has been lifted off my shoulders by his caring therapist, by In Bloom and everybody that I talked to there. I can tell without a doubt they, they want the best for him, just like I do. We did the at home therapy and it wasn't bad but we kind of noticed you Stadler's when he's in the comfort of his own home it's his show <laughs> this is Stadler's home we're all just living in it we went to his pediatrician and he evaluated him and he strongly recommended center-based ABA we went online and just looked up ABA centers we definitely went through about three or four clinics slash schools and when we went to in bloom it's like we knew there was windows, there was light, the kids were playing. We felt very welcomed. Stadler just lit up. He loves it so much. On the weekends, he'll bring us his backpack and take us to the door because he wants to go to school. We would be three therapists, me, his Nana, and Stadler all outside, just practicing him not running and darting into traffic. Now, as soon as he gets out of the car, he grabs my finger and walks me to the door. They aren't just helping Stadler to learn shapes or colors. You know, they're saving his life. Stadler is actually doing parallel play with other children. He's never done that before. He's not been really engaged with playing, but since he started ABA, he wants to play with us. And it's so fun. It's just awesome. He hugs. Oh, you're giving him kisses. To have him actually put his arms around me, that only started a week ago. He's four years old. I, my four-year-old is giving me hugs now because of ABA. And he's smiling and he's happy. And he's learning how to use his device, like help. That's huge. My son can't tell me if he's thirsty. He can't tell me if he had a bad dream. But with his device and the help of ABA, they're giving him a voice. And then the techniques that they're using to implement that they show us with parent training. And because of that parent training, my 13 year old is able to connect with her brother. I'm able to understand Stadler's thinking and how I know that is by his behaviors. And how I know his behaviors is because he's going to ABA. And how does the ABA know that? It's because they are applied behavioral analysis. It's all science, there's data. This has not just bit with Stadler, it has completely changed the trajectory of his success for being an adult one day on his own. This whole timeline has brought us to this whole new world of support, community, networking, kindness, compassion, and understanding. In a world of autism, that is huge, huge, because it can be a very lonely and isolating journey.